Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm just gonna teach you how to get your API data using TypeScript. I'm gonna do a few more videos on TypeScript in the future. Um, the company I'm currently working for, they have TypeScript everywhere. But anyways, we're gonna create a file called interfaces.ts. The TS is for TypeScript. And if you notice the app, .js file doesn't exist. Instead of app.js, it's app.tsx. Now I'm going to my web browser. You can see the data we're expecting to get back is going to be like this right here. This object that has a collection of objects. So I'm going to type in export const user. Sorry, I'm getting too excited export so I'm going to type in export interface user and I'm going to paste in my object just like that now I'm going to clean this up for you guys and then we're going to continue and I'll go over it with you okay so now we're back you take a look at our user object, the user object has everything that our API response data has. It has the ID, name, username, email. And when it gets to address, it references the address interface. So the, the address interface is basically the address object. You can see the address has its types as well. It says our street, is a, our street is a string, suite, and everything else as well. And within our, ad, our address interface, our address interface it uses the geolocation interface and the same thing happens for our company all right now i'm going to go into my app.ts file and i'm going to get our use state from react i'm going to go ahead and say i'm going to say user data i'm going to set up our function let's say set user data I'm going to bring in our uh, interface user from our interfaces and I'm going to set so usually when we do our use state we'll do something like this we'll say user data we'll say use state and then just pass in our initial state which is an empty array now instead of doing that we're going to go ahead we're going to reference our user interface add and add our array just like that also let's bring in use effect so for use effect Bring in use effect. So add in our array dependencies. Let's also import from import Axios from Axios, and let's bring in our Axios response. I get these red arrows. I'm thinking I did something wrong. All right, so type in Axios dot get, and I'm going to grab our API that I'm using for this example. Paste that in there just like that. Then. And this, you see how it already built in that Axios response. So in the back, in the background, it already interprets the Axios response. But I'm going to bring it in and use it. So I'm going to go ahead and just console log a response. Say response dot data. 
admin also just like we did we reference our user uh, type right here we're gonna do the same thing for our get so the user I'm not sure if the user is supposed to be an array or not I'm gonna go ahead and just add that array and may have to change it so anyways I'm gonna save our file and I'm going to turn our debugger Clear. You can see we're getting back our we're running TypeScript. You can see we're running TypeScript, and now we're getting back all our API data. All right, so we can see that it's successfully working. And then just you know, just to make it a little more complete, I'll set our user data and I'll pass in our response data. now we have our user data so that's how you make an API call using TypeScript I'm going to be giving you guys a few more TypeScript uh, examples in the future so look forward to that um, in a professional world at least what I was told I asked what was the benefit of using TypeScript over regular JavaScript and I guess TypeScript is more for business logic it allows to do a lot more than what you saw in this example so all the new things I'm learning around TypeScript I'll make sure I make a video around it many ways like comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.